Hello friends, my name is Hitendra and uh, welcome back to automation testing insider.com. This is Selenium Web Driver part 62 and uh, today we are going to talk about an introduction to So let's concentrate today uh, on this page object model. Okay, so let's get it started. So what is page object model? So page object model is a design pattern to create object repository for web UI elements. So many people says that it's a framework, but it's not a framework. It's a design pattern to create the object repository for web UI elements. Okay. Under this model, what happens is for each web page in the application, there should be corresponding page class, or you can say uh, Java class. Okay. So let's say if you have uh, ten uh, pages in a in an application, so there would be corresponding ten Java classes. Okay. and this page class will find the web elements on that web page and also contains page methods which will perform operations on those web elements okay. so this is my orange hrm application okay and here uh, this is login page okay and we have different web elements here we have image we have this input box okay uh, username field uh, password and login button hyperlinks so these are different web elements so we'll store in a separate class called login page we'll create a class called login page java class and we'll store all the web elements in that class and we'll also write uh, a corresponding method uh, a user actions method okay uh, let's say like login for to verify the login uh, functionality we'll write login test like entering username and password and click on login button so that is user action method so we'll write that login method inside login page only okay. so this is non pom structure so we have class called class a and it has web elements as well as corresponding user action methods methods and uh, we have test methods as well in the same class okay so everything inside class a Whereas in POM structure, what we'll do, we'll create web elements, we'll create a separate class uh, called class A and we'll store web elements and methods in that class and we have separate class to verify the test cases, uh, to validate the test cases, to create the test cases, we have class B, where we'll call the methods, action methods from uh, test methods class, okay, and we'll verify our test cases, okay. So, uh, we are going to discuss advantage in the next slide of having form but the biggest advantage of having form is by seeing these two structure is let's say suppose uh, your locator gets changed tomorrow okay let's say this username field gets changed so what will happen let's say we have 100 test cases in this uh, test methods okay in this class a we have 100 test cases and we are going to use this login functionality in different test cases okay so what will happen in case of any locator change for this login uh, username okay this username what we have to do is we need to go through each test cases and we have to update the locator but whereas uh, in this form structure what will happen since we have separate class class a or you can say login class login page class so simply we'll go there and we'll change the locator of this particular field username and uh, that will be used by this test method and that will execute uh, successfully so that is the biggest advantage of having page object model yeah so here we have different uh, advantages and disadvantages uh, okay so we have many advantages of having uh, page object model so it will act as object repository you can create an object repo repository of the field segmented page wise uh, we'll create like uh, for login page we'll create all the locators we'll have all the locators in login page uh, for home page we'll have all the locators in home page like that this as a result provides a page repository of the application as well okay so that 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 will act as a object repository of the application each page will be defined as a java class as we have discussed okay and all the fields in the page will be defined in an interface as members the class will the implement the interface reusability 
so we can reuse the page class if required in different test cases so since we uh, we can reuse our uh, methods as well whatever we will write user action methods here in login page we can use those uh, methods in different test cases from test layer okay so there are two layers guys uh, one is page layer where we'll create all the page classes and there would be another layer test layer uh, where we'll create all the test cases okay so i'll discuss about the architecture later on when we develop the framework from scratch where i'll discuss the complete architect architecture of the uh, page object model as well and functional encapsulation so all possible functionality or operations that can be performed on a page can be defined and contained within the same class created for each web page so this is what we have discussed so let's say we have all the locators in a same page class and we'll have all the user actions method in the same class so that will work as a uh, functional i mean uh, encapsulation okay low maintenance so any user interface changes can swiftly be implemented into the interface as well as class so uh, the maintenance would be very easy programmer friendly so it will be more more robust and more readable low redundancy so duplication will be very less if you create the page object model and it will be efficient and scalable faster than other frameworks like uh, data keyword driven and data driven approaches and there are a uh, few uh, disadvantages like it requires high setup time and effort and we need uh, skill labor like uh, you should have very good uh, uh, knowledge on java or any programming language when you uh, develop your framework so you should have uh, to construct this page object model okay so you should have very good knowledge of object programming language okay programming language so how to implement this page object model so there are two ways we can implement page object model so we have basic approach which we are going to discuss today and there is another way or you can say standard way page factory approach so generally we use this page factory approach using at the rate find by annotation so we'll uh, discuss about uh, page factory in the next uh, session so today, today we'll see like uh, i mean demo on this one basic approach so what are the different steps to be followed to create page object model so these are the steps okay and these are the steps to create test classes so first of all we'll create a java class for every page in the application this is the first page and uh, second one is in each class declare all the web elements as variable and third would be implement corresponding methods acting on the variable so yeah let's start demo of uh, page object model so my eclipse is already opened here so what i'll do i'll create a new project i'll create my one project next create a simple project next and i'll put form demo i'll use the same for uh, artifact id and click on finish so here my project is created so this is since this is moven project so here you can see m and j so you can see other projects we have uh, only jj here so if you are creating moven project then it will come small m over here and we have uh, this uh, form xml so we need to have uh, few dependencies like selenium java jar files uh, okay we need to download so for that we'll have we need to have dependencies test engine so already i have here in this notepad so simply i'll copy you can google it also like uh, selenium java maven dependencies so we have dependencies tag inside that will put our selenium java and uh, test ng dependencies okay and simply do control s so it will download all the jar files building workspace so here you can see this moment dependency got added and it will download all the jar files 
and uh, yeah let's get it started so we have uh, folders here uh, src main java src test java and resources folder so what i'll do inside this src main java folder i'll create a package called com give proper name com dot com dot and then project name so we are going to implement orange hrm so i'll give orange hrm dot pages click on finish and uh, yeah let's create package inside src test java as well so new package com dot orange orange hrm dot test cases or test click on finish now in this page pages what will write will write different pages okay so simply i'll write couple of pages over here couple of uh, page classes okay so let's say login page click on finish and then i'll have one more page uh, let's say home page like this you have to create the page classes okay and uh, inside login page what i'll do now we have to locate the web elements so how to do that so we'll use by class and we have method uh, id i'll do like this how to locate the element so this is the basic approach guys so we are not going to write directly like uh, driver dot final element by dot expert like that we'll locate uh, we'll store in in the form of variable so how to locate let's say username i'll take username like this and by dot we have id method here a static method inside this by class okay so simply we are storing the locator here in the form of variable so simply inspect this username field we have one second we have id txt username so you can look at like this and similarly for uh, password by dot let's say this time take name locator and uh, how to locate password inspect this and we have name txt password so just put password over here and uh, login button we have so by dot let's say x path we'll use x path locator so just inspect this and uh, right click copy as x path so this is the x path of this login button so if we can put it over here now we have three locators here in the form of variables and uh, let's inspect this image as well so right click copy as x path control f so this is the x path of that image okay one of one we can find here and uh, simply write like logo boy dot x path yeah so this is basic approach to uh, locate your web elements now we'll write corresponding user action methods so let's say we want to write method for this one to validate uh, this orange hrm logo so how to write public void uh, validate logo and uh, and here we have to write driver dot find element once again we have to declare the web driver here web driver driver and then we'll write 
like driver dot find element and no need to write by dot xpath or anything because already we have uh, uh, covered here or uh, we have uh, I mean stored all the variables uh, locators in the form of variables so simply write logo inside this and we can write is displayed okay and uh, let's say it will return true and we have to change the return type to boolean so this is uh, one method we have written one uh, user action method now let's write another method to login into the application okay so public void login method simply i'll use login method only and how to login into the application so we have driver dot find element and here we'll write username dot send keys method we have so here i'll pass username will perform the operation using send keys method okay so these are user actions method so here i have uh, i'm performing an action is displayed whether that logo is displayed or not and uh, to enter uh, password so similarly we will write dot send keys second guys dot send keys and here i'll write this is the password and uh, finally we need to click on uh, login button okay so we have a uh, driver dot find element we have login button locator and then click operation we have to perform click operation after entering username and password so this is done login and we have two methods user action methods validate logo and login method now what i'll do to initialize this web driver what we'll do we'll create one constructor over here so public login page so this is how we'll create the constructor which has the same name as a class name and we'll pass one parameter driver and using this dot driver will distinguish a global variable and local variable so this will when the constructor will be called when we create the object of this login page in other class okay so this constructor will be called and it will initialize the uh, this page class object okay so th that is the usage of constructor here so now our uh, page class is ready login page now let's write test class here so let's say login page test and uh, guys you can use these generate commands generate comments always so here you can see author hitendra my name is here and you can put comments like uh, uh, this this class is created on this particular date you can give okay like this and uh, you can write some functionality also it covers how many test cases or if you do any modification you can write in the comments so always I think it's good practice to add the comments in your page class or test classes. Okay. And uh, here, what we are going to do, we'll write public void validate logo test. Or you can verif uh, write simply verify verify logo verify logo so this is our uh, one of the test case i am writing so here i have added uh, this annotation at the rate test annotation so we have to import test from org.testng.annotation and uh, yeah now we'll write 
so to verify the logo first we need to log in into the application okay so we need to yeah we have to uh, create the uh, object of web driver and then okay we'll we need to launch the browser and then we have to navigate to this url and validate this logo so how to do that so first of all we have this system dot set property okay so it takes two parameters this set property to set the web driver browser driver okay and then here we'll write web driver driver is equal to new let's say chrome driver in this case like this and we have driver dot manage dot window dot maximize and we'll navigate to uh, that URL orange HRM here we have orange HRM URL so I'll put it over here so this will open the application and now to create the uh, to call the methods from home page uh, sorry login page class what we need to do we need to create the object of this login page class okay so how to create the login page class so let's create object here so we have login page and let's say login page new login page like this we have to create and this will take parameter okay driver so we'll pass the driver instance from this login page when we'll call this constructor from login page then it will be uh, the object of this class will be initialized this web driver will initialize and then uh, the rest of the I mean it will initialize the web driver here then find the it will find the element okay so how to call the method so we have created the object of login page so simply we can use login page dot we have a validate logo okay so this one now here we'll put assert assert to verify uh, to validate that logo we have assert true and uh, I'll put let's store this in boolean let's say flag and if that flag is true then this case will be pass okay this case will be passed so this is uh, the first test case let's write one more test case so this time verify I'll write login so do not worry about uh, the duplication of code guys I'll uh, write in a, uh, I'll tell you will customize this class later on so this is just to understand like how we write the test cases and then I'll do some modification here okay so similarly we'll do uh, we'll have to remove these two lines now to login we need to call what is the method we have to call this login method from login page class so we have this login method so simply we'll call this login method and let's validate what will happen after logging into the application okay so let's log in into the application admin and admin one two three So let's verify after logging into the application the URL should be this. Okay, so let's write driver dot find element. Sorry, driver dot get current URL. You can write and this will give you the current URL and will store in a string variable current URL like this and I'll put one assertion over here so assert dot 
assert equals and what is actual so this is my actual result and uh, what would be the expected let's write this uh, actual URL and uh, I'll store another expected URL and what would be my expected URL this is my expected URL so I'll put it over here simply semicolon at the end now I'll, I'll verify actual versus expected if they are matching then this test case will be passed so this is uh, we have two classes two test methods verify logo and verify login now we are good to go so let me just quickly recap so we have created a couple of uh, uh, page classes we have login page and home page home page we have not written anything so in this login page we have located uh, different web elements okay so these in the form of variables so we have here we have stored in uh, by class variable and we have constructed to initialize the object in this page class and we have this validate uh, logo method user action method validate logo and we have one more corresponding method login method okay and uh, we have written one corresponding test class uh, login page test where we have a couple of test cases verify logo and verify login and using assertion we are verifying the verifying what test case so let me just run this program so right click and run as test ng test so browser is launched so it will execute the first test case uh, logging into the application and it will verify the sorry we have not written driver dot close or quit so that's why it is not closing the browser we'll write that and this is the second test class so you can simply close manually we'll write close as well you can write uh, at the end close as well so here you can see two test cases both are passed here you can see verify login and verify logo now what we'll do we'll do some modification in this uh, test classes okay, uh, in t this test class login page test so here you can see this uh, duplication of code right we have uh, this initialize of uh, this web driver uh, in this uh, test method as well okay two times so what how we can write we already seen in the in test ng so we'll write public void setup method setup method and simply call or uh, simply copy paste and this entire line of code and put it over here okay and what I'll do login page uh, I'll do one thing so from here we'll remove this five lines of code from this class as well and what I'll do since we are using this login page object in both the test case so we'll declare at top so how we can write login page and here we can use like login page correct we can write like this and here in this setup method simply will do like this okay we'll create the object in setup method of login page class okay and here you can see then we have used this login page in this verify logo object this login page object and here as well one second and we have to declare web driver driver as well public web driver and driver use this web driver uh, declare at top publicly so that we can use inside uh, setup method and uh, other methods as well in this verify login we need this driver 
and uh, yeah this login page here we have used and uh, in this verify logo method as well and what you'll do we can do one more thing yeah so one second verify logo and here you can see yeah so when we call this login page login method okay so the the moment when user enters username and password and user and lands on this home page so what will do it will store in home page object okay home page simply will write okay so that will return the home page object so here we'll write let's write home page object as well and we have to import home page from uh, from this okay or in charm pages login page oh, sorry this home page so here we have created the object of home page and uh, simply put like this okay and uh, that method will return so here you can see guys so here we have written in login page we have written this login method okay so that will return okay that will return what it will return it will return home page class object okay home page class object so how to create the home page class object like this you can do like this and it will return home page okay so this is how we need, we need to write so this is how this is also called page sharing model so in page class when we write this method login page so after entering username and password when we click on this login button it will enter it will land on this home page so it will return home page class object okay so that's why we have written return new home page so it will create the home page object this is the return type okay so you'll understand this while creating the framework when we write different uh, pages okay different page classes then you'll understand like what is the use of uh, returning the the uh, the landing page objects okay so this is just for time being you can uh, understand so here my login test is ready so we have this setup method to initialize the web driver initialize the web driver and yeah we have to remove this web driver from here because we have already declared at top now this is fine and uh, i think all good will write one more uh, method yeah will this should be before method okay and uh, to close the browser will write one method public void tear down and this should be after method and here simply will write driver dot close now all done okay now this is perfect uh, page object model you can see and uh, yeah and you can compare the advantages which we have seen so it will act as object repository to, so here you can see in login page we have stored all the elements web elements in the form of variables in the form of object repository and reusability we can reuse the page class if required in different test cases so let's say we are going to use uh, this is valid login test right verify login let's say i'm going to use uh, for invalid login so but definitely yeah, we need to call this login page okay so we can call the same method same this login method in different test classes okay in different test methods or in different test classes okay functional encapsulation so here you can see we have written the variables we have created the object repository and uh, we have corresponding uh, user action methods so this will work or act as 
object uh, sorry functional encapsulation low maintenance uh, programmer friendly and low redundancy the duplication is very less here okay so whatever corresponding web elements are here we are using here and there would not be any duplication when you when we use uh, the same object in different test classes then we can simply uh, create the object of that particular class like login page and then we can call the methods and variables okay and you can do one thing here this is hard coded this username and password so what we can do here we can simply write string uname username and uh, we can write like this password and simply we have to pass username over here and password here oh, sorry oh sorry we have taken same so let's zip we have to change the variable name here so copy and put it over here like this so this is done and we have to just while calling we, we need to pass the variable from here while calling the method so this login page so here from here we can call admin and then admin123 so our test case is very robust now okay everything is done now let me just uh, run this program again this is script run as test ng test this is the first test case and uh, the second test case and every time guys uh, uh, you should use always a uh, new browser session okay uh, every time new browser will be open new browser session so that's why we have uh, initialized our uh, driver in this setup method so every time browser will be launched okay for all the test cases so in that case for separate test case okay so that in that case uh, your browser will not be exhausted okay and it will run smoothly so this is how we can implement page object model and uh, what i'll do i'll uh, put the code source code in my blog going forward so here you can see in selenium tutorials we have uh, all the concept here selenium tutorials okay so i'll put the second part of extent report over here and then uh, this page object model as well going forward okay and probably in uh, in a couple of days I'll uh, create a post on this so let me just recap the recap the procedure uh, the steps which we have followed so create a Java class so we have created the Java class for every page uh, for today we have just seen like uh, home uh, login page okay and we have created one more page home page so probably we'll look into that uh, in the next session when we talk about this page factory method uh, page factory approach using at the rate find by annotation okay and uh, we have implement uh, corresponding methods acting on the variables so we followed all these steps to create page object okay. and steps to be followed to create test cases so initialize the driver and open the application so this is what we have done using this setup method and we have uh, create an object of page layer class and pass the driver instance so here you can see we have created the object of this login page and we here we have used okay yeah here we have created the object sorry this one login page and we are passing the driver instance so exactly we are following the same steps which we have I have written over here and using the object call the method from page layer class and repeat step 3 until the all actions are performed and and close the browser and always you should yeah th that is the main funda behind this object uh, 
model approach always you should have you should not verify your test cases in page classes okay so you should always have corresponding test classes like we have this login page test here we are verifying this logo here you can see using this assert statement and this login functionality using this assert equals method so this is all for today guys uh, in the next video i'll talk about a page factory approach so thank you for watching have a nice day yeah, bye bye hello friends welcome back to automation testing in sari.com this is selenium web driver part 63 and uh, today we are going to talk about page object model design pattern using page factory and in the last video we talked about page object model using basic approach okay so let me just recap what we have done so far so in the previous video we talked about what is page object model and we have seen how a uh, page object model structure looks and we have compared with uh, non page object model structure and later on we discussed about different uh, page object model advantages and uh, uh, we have seen at last the uh, page object model implementation using basic approach so these are the different steps we have uh, followed in the last video and regarding the notes and uh, source code of previous session already I have posted on my blog so if you navigate automation testing insider.com you can find on this home tab uh, this is the latest topic we have discussed introduction to page object model or instead you can navigate to this selenium tutorial and uh, here I have listed down all the topics so here you can see so just navigate to this introduction to page object model and here you will get the notes and uh, source code of the previous session which we have uh, the programs which we have created this is for login page and this is login page test class okay. now let's come back to today's topic which is uh, page object model design pattern will design the page object model using page factory okay. so what is page factory so page factory basically it's a class in selenium and it's an extension to the page object design pattern so we have seen the page object model the basic approach uh, last time so this is an extension of that page object model it is used to initialize the web elements of the page and it is used to initialize web elements of a page class without having to use find element and find elements so last time we have uh, used find element uh, method so this time to find the element on web page so this time we are not going to use that instead we are going to use at the rate find by annotation and these are the different steps which we are going to follow so in addition to the last time which I mean uh, we are going to add a base class this time around okay so steps to be followed to create base class so first of all we need to initialize the web driver and open the application so we'll have couple of methods over there to open the application or you can say setup method and uh, to close the browser okay and you can have some some more common methods as well in this base class okay so we'll discuss about base class later on uh, more uh, about base class when we construct the framework so for now I think uh, uh, this should be fine and these are the steps to be followed to create page class okay so create a Java class for every page in the application and in each class declare all the web elements as variable using at the rate find by annotation okay so we'll find the find all the elements using at the rate find by annotation and implement corresponding methods acting on the variables so we are going to create user action methods in page class in every page class whatever navigation we are going to perform on particular page we are going to write the method in the form of methods okay add constructor to initialize the web elements using init elements method so to in initialize a current class object we are going to use constructor and uh, we are going to use init element method so this is an interview question probably they might I mean uh, generally the interviewer might ask at the time of interview that what is the method to initialize the web elements 
in page factory method okay so we have this init elements method now these are the steps to be followed to create test cases create an object of page layer class and pass the driver instance okay and using the object call the method from page class layer and repeat steps 3 until all the actions are performed and at the end close the browser so anyways we'll close the browser uh, from this class and we'll change little bit over here uh, some steps okay so do not worry about that i'll uh, write the complete steps in my blog once we are done with our program and uh, this base class will be the super class and uh, these two classes like page class and uh, whatever test class we are going to write uh, will be the child classes uh, of this base class okay so let's come back to uh, this eclipse and uh, here i'll create new project i'll select maven project and uh, create a simple project click on next I'll write form page factory. I'll select this. I'll have artifact ID as group ID. So click on finish. So the project will be created here. And uh, okay. now it is created. We have this form.xml. And what I'll do from previous class, I'll use the dependencies. To download jar files, testng and uh, selenium java jar files. So, if you are new to Maven, then you can refer my previous videos related to Maven. I have created already a couple of videos on Maven. And just do control S. We can close the previous form and uh, yeah. So here you can see building workspace. So this is done. Yeah. Now what I'll do, I'll create few packages over here. So first of all, I'll create com dot orange hrm dot base package. So to create the base class inside uh, this package, I'll create uh, this com.orangehrm.base package. And uh, here itself, I'll create one more package. Pages. So we'll have all our uh, uh, pages in this pack package. Okay and if here we have uh, for test script we have separate folder src test java okay so here i'll create for test cases i'll create one package test cases so guys already uh, always uh, have uh, test cases test cases uh, test cases related to i mean package and classes in this src test java related to test script okay. and in this main package we have base class and uh, pages class okay. so let me create base class now so always select this generate comments checkbox so here you can get the comment and you can write whoever uh, you can see default it is coming my I mean uh, it is showing my name so I'm the author of this uh, class so here you can see you can update and you can add comments as well now what I'll do I'll have couple of methods over here public void setup method to launch the browser and uh, I'll have another method public void tear down So that uh, it will be executed every time when we open the browser that will be executed using this base class so instead of writing in the test classes okay we'll write setup method and tear down method in base class because this is common for all the uh, all the test methods or test classes okay and uh, what I'll do I'll 
have setup method from previous class I'll copy few lines of code from here and I'll put it over here inside this setup method we don't need this uh, and uh, here we have to declare public web driver and driver so everything is fine this is my URL to just uh, launch the browser we have set the property of Chrome driver and uh, using this and guys here you can write uh, if else condition as well and we can pass the uh, the particular driver or a browser okay but right now I'm using only Chrome browser so that's why I have created the instance of instance of this Chrome driver only object of Chrome driver and this is to maximize the window and this is to navigate the URL so this is my setup method and I'll add annotation before method so every before every test method it will execute And we have to import before method org dot test ng dot annotations, and this would be my after method. And here I'll write driver dot close. So my base class is done, and uh, yeah, this is done for now. Now let's have a look. Uh, what is happening yeah, don't need this one so that's why it is giving error now it is fine now I'll create some pages over here so let's create login page inside this com.orangehrm.pages ok so login page is the first page and we'll have a couple of more pages let's say home page and uh, I'll have one more page so let me show you first how we are going to navigate and how we are going to perform testing today so demo websites and uh, we have this orange HRM application this one where it is this one just click on that and uh, so this will be my first page login page which we have created login page and uh, once we login into the application we land on this home page so this will be the second page and now let's click on this one admin tab so we'll have this system users page okay so simply i copy this system user so this will be the third page so let's create three pages over here in these pages package so third uh, class will be system users page now let's write uh, inside this login page now we are going to use at the rate find by annotation to write the locators okay uh, web elements so find by and inside this so we have different locators like ID name or uh, let me just log out first ID name class name name or uh, class name and uh, X path so here we have to write the particular locator so let's say ID so let me just inspect this username so no need to write driver dot find element like that so simply we'll inspect this and here we have id txt username so put txt username here and here we have to write web element and will give this particular web element some name okay so what will give user name so like this so you can keep the entire things uh, in one line otherwise you can divide in two lines okay so web element username sorry username so this is how you can write using find by uh, annotation and simply we need to put uh, you need to 
uh, have this uh, web element and perform different actions so I'll show you so similarly write for uh, password as well so we have uh, let's say this time name so we can instead of ID I'll write name over here and I'll put text password and here I'll write password and let's have uh, one more for a login button so we have this ID or let's uh, take the xpath right click and uh, copy as xpath so this is how you can write you can get the xpath or you can manually write because already we have id as unique locator so you can write xpath like this so just for time being i'm writing like this i mean just i'm copying this xpath and i'll put it over here and instead of name this would be xpath this would be my xpath and here i'll write login button login button like this and let's have one more web element last time we have uh, validated this orange hrm logo so this time also let's say copy as xpath like this so i'll copy simply this xpath and i'll put it over here this is done and here I'll put logo so I have four web elements on this uh, login page so similarly you can write some other uh, web elements as well this for uh, this partial link uh, I mean this uh, hyperlink as well you can write so whatever web elements are there you can write locators web elements for that for particular web page now what is the next step uh, create a java class for every page in the application and yeah this is also done we have declared all the web elements as using a uh, find by implement corresponding methods acting on the variable so here we'll write some methods so public void let's say validate logo so how to validate that logo so here we have uh, web element so simply copy here the uh, element and uh, what we want to perform here is displayed whether it is displayed or not so like this we can give and here you'll put a return statement return true if that is displayed then we'll return uh, we need to change the method return type to boolean okay so this method will return boolean value true or false based on whether this image is displayed or not so this is first method and similarly we can write another method as well let's say login method and how to write login method we have username simply put username dot send keys so directly we'll perform send keys operation we'll write admin we have password dot send keys sorry send keys and here I'll write admin123 is the password and last is login button dot click we need to perform click operation so in that uh, so that uh, user will be logged in into the application now what will happen when we log in into the application so user will land on home page so what we'll do uh, we'll return the object of home page because when we click on login user will land uh, on home page so this method method will return the object of home page so new home page so we can write like this and uh, yeah here return statement return home page and this will return return type to home page so we have to change the login method return type to home page 
So I'll explain like why I have returning this home page object over here because this is uh, uh, I mean page object model is also called a page training model. So why uh, we are calling page training model? I'll show you. So this is done. And lastly, what we need to do add constructor to initialize the web elements using init elements method. So we need to initialize all these web elements. So for that we need to have constructor. So constructor have same name as class name. So we'll use uh, this. Let's have public login page inside that. In this constructor, what we are going to do? So we have page factory class dot init elements. So here we have init elements, and uh, this factory will uh, will pass driver here. And uh, yeah, so and uh, this one second, guys. And here it should be yes. Uh, sorry, this. And as I have discussed earlier, uh, page class and test class will extend base class. So simply I'll write extends keyword here and base class. Base class because we are going to use the properties from base class. We are going to use this driver object. So that's why I have extended base class. So all the common properties and methods will be there in this base class. Now this is done. My home page uh, login page is done. Now let's write home page. And home page what we are going to write? What we are going to perform? Admin admin123. So click on login. So in this home page what we are going to perform? We need to just click on this admin tab. Okay, admin tab. So let me just inspect this. So copy and XPath control F. This is how we can get the XPath of this admin. Okay, admin tab. And uh, same, uh, here I will write at the rate find by and inside this x path similar to what we have written uh, for login page okay and uh, here I'll write web element what is this admin tab fine and uh, now what we are going to perform here uh, we need to just click on this admin tab and uh, this page should appear this system uh, system users page so we are going to perform one action here so I'll write public void click on admin tab so this is what we are going to perform on home page and what I'll write here admin tab dot click and this method will return now system user speech object because we will land on this system user speech okay on this page we are going to land so that's why we are going to use uh, I mean we are going to return system user speech object like this and yeah new with new keyword and uh, here what happened yeah return type we have to change it to system user speech now I'll explain like what is the usage of this so so guys we have three pages for now we have this login page let's write login over here login page we have a home page and system users page this is home page and this is system users page so when we enter when we uh, enter username and password and when we click on uh, login button then we'll land on this home page so in that method we have written uh, written the object of home page because we are landing we are landing on this home page so we'll re we return the 
landing page object okay object so that's why we have written this uh, this method like this uh, this login page uh, login method okay here we are returning home page object similarly when we click on this uh, that admin tab so we'll return the object of because we are going to land on the system users page so we'll return the object of system users page and uh, i'll show you uh, like uh, while creating the test classes we no need to create the object of this home page and this system users uh, test classes okay so that is the benefit of having uh, i mean this is also called page chaining model to return the object of uh, landing page so we'll understand better when we create the test class so right now our home page is also almost done so here i'll create public void not void public home page and uh, yeah this is the constructor to initialize the web elements so we have init elements here also i'll pass driver and this class this home page class also extends extends base class so all the page classes will extend base class so that we can access the properties from base class so instead of this uh, that one we can write this uh, instead of this you can write base class dot class as well like this class okay because this is referred to this current class so instead of this one you can write this so this is these two are done home, login page and home page let's keep uh, this system users page as it is now we'll, we are going to write some test cases so i'll write login page test and click on finish i'll write one more class over here home page test now login page test we are going to perform one test to validate the logo so what we are going to write public void verify logo that orange hrm logo so how to verify that now here we need uh, the login page reference variable login page so that we can call login page reference variable okay so we have to import login page from com dot orange hrm dot pages why i keep this one and here will extends base class as well so we can write the uh, we can have all the properties from base class okay mm and here we'll write login page dot we'll call that login method okay so this is my login page and this will return home page object so here i'll have home page object as well a reference variable of home page home page class okay and uh, we need to import home page also second guys so this is done now uh, sorry we need no need to log in this uh, um, yeah no need to write like this because we are verifying only logo so here we'll write uh, login page dot we have validate logo method right in home uh, login page class so simply we'll call that validate logo met, uh, method and here we'll insert assert assert true and this will return me boolean value so i'll store in boolean variable boolean let's say flag and i'll use this flag over here so this is uh, my first test case 
import test from org test ng dot annotation so this is my first test and second test similarly we can write public void let's say login test we are going to login into the application so how to login and here we'll use a login page object dot login method and this will return the object of this home page this one which we have written here and now what we are going to do we will put some assert assert statement assert dot assert equals and before that let me write some so what would be my uh, actual and expected okay so let's say expected url so what would be my expected url that uh, one second i'll show you so when we log in into the application this would be my expected url home page url okay so this would be my expected url and what would be the string actual url what would be the expected uh, sorry actual driver dot get current url so this would be my uh, actual url and here i'll simply i'll copy paste actual and expected url so this is how we can do for login test we can put assert like this so this is done login page test and uh, if you see here create an object of page layer class to pass the driver instance so here we have only created the reference variable so since we are using this base class so i'll create the object of login page class here login page because we are using to this i mean this setup method every time so i'll use the login page object over here new login page We'll create the object like this and put it in login page like this and here I'll give public login page login page like this okay so here we have created the object of login page and we'll use this login page reference variable in our login page test like this mm, i think this is not required here only we need this home page so yeah because directly we are getting it from base class so we can comment this one now this is done this login page test is done we'll write some test here one more test the test public void uh, let's say click on admin 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 tab test we are going to click on that admin tab so we need home page object okay so here we'll write home page so we need to click uh, we need to we need login page as well login page object so simply i'll write login page dot it is not coming this will extends base class as well so all the test classes like this login test extends this base class so similarly home page also extend base class and here we'll use login page dot we have login method right because we need to login into the application first and this will return home page object so we can write like this home page and later on using this home page object what we'll do we'll call because this method will return home page object so simply we have this reference of this home page object 
and home homepage class object okay and here simply we need to call click on admin tab method so this is done now here we'll uh, we'll insert assert so simply just copy this and put it over here we need to just change the URL so once we get in into this uh, admin tab when we click on this admin tab this URL should be returned so we'll keep this URL over here and this will get the current URL everything is fine now I think all are done we are no need of for this uh, we need to just create the object of this uh, I mean a reference of home page class so one test case we have in this uh, home page test and couple of test cases in this login page test uh, no need of this one we can remove this so I think all done and there is no nothing in this system users page now come back to base class so we have created the object of login page here and we have this reference variable and uh, we can do one more thing in login page we can uh, here these are hard coded so we can write like this username and string password so we'll pass instead of this one we can pass your name here and password as well like this now I think everything is done uh, let me just run what we can do but some errors are coming by Achha, we need to pass uh, username admin here and admin123 yeah and one more from here as well so login admin and admin123 now everything is ready so what I'll do now I'll add after clicking on that admin tab admin tab when we click on that admin tab I'll put some weight so that it should not uh, throw any exception thread dot slip I'll put uh, let's say two seconds of weight over here and we need to add throws declaration and what I'll do I'll add a priority to my test cases so here I'll give like priority one and here I'll give priority 2 and in this home page test I'll give priority let's say 3 okay and uh, everything is ready now let me just recap what we have done so far so in base class we have created couple of methods setup method to launch the browser and we have tear down method so we have given annotation uh, before method and after method okay so every time this browser will be launched and just make sure that uh, here we have created the object of login page because firstly we'll uh, launch the browser and we'll return the object of login page okay and later on no need to create the object of uh, other pages because we are navigating from one page to another page and we'll return the object of home page and similarly when we return uh, navigate to the system users we'll return the object of system users page so this is my page uh, base class and this is home page for that this is the login page here we have listed down we got all the web elements we have located all the web elements using find by locator at the rate find by annotation okay and uh, we have used a constructor to initialize the web I mean web elements of this class and uh, we have couple of methods here validate logo and uh, login method okay so exactly we followed all these steps here so only thing is that create an object of page layer class so instead of this we have created the object of login page in base class okay so uh, I'll uh, I'll uh, validate this and I'll uh, put in my blog okay I'll correct this okay 
and uh, the next one is we have uh, test classes okay system user space we haven't done anything and we have couple of uh, test classes we have login page test and uh, home page test okay so we have two test cases here and one test case here now we'll write one sweet file so how to write you just select uh, all the test classes so we have couple of test classes and right click and we have this uh, test ng convert to test ng here our suite file is created and uh, we have suite name as suite test name i'll keep it uh, uh, as uh, test only and click on finish so here our test ng.xml got created and simply i need to just run, run this okay right click run as test ng suite so let's see what happens whether uh, our test cases will be executed successfully or not we have to check that so browser is launched so the first test case will be executed i think this logo test got executed now this is the second one it will enter username and password and click on login button and similarly the third test case will be executed it will enter username and password click on login button and then it will click on that admin tab so this system users page will open so this is how you can implement page object model using page factory so here you can see our test cases got executed all the tests are passed so do not worry guys i'll uh, put the source code in my blog okay so i think we have covered everything today uh, all these steps and uh, in my blog i'll write in a proper way all these steps okay so thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.